I don't need a sword because I am the doctor and this is my spoon. Androids of Sherwood. I'm not gonna lie, going into this one, I was a bit nervous. The historical set episodes generally don't really do it for me. There have been a couple of good ones, Vincent and the Doctor, uh, The Girl in the Fireplace, but most of the other ones have been middling to boring for me. They tend to be the ones that fall into the most predictable pattern and also deal with the most cliches in terms of the setting and the historical figures that turn up. And the funny thing is, this episode kind of does that same thing, but it does it to such a deliberate extreme that it now suddenly works. Robin Hood is so on the nose, and he is such an over-the-top, cliched version of what we all believe Robin Hood to be, that it just makes it fun, and it helps sell it, and it really helps that he annoys the ever-loving heck out of the Doctor. I mean, there isn't really much more to talk about in terms of plot other than that. The Doctor takes Clara to Sherwood Forest because she wants to meet Robin Hood. He says Robin Hood doesn't exist. They immediately run into Robin Hood, and the Doctor could not possibly be any more annoyed by that fact. And as I said, the actual Robin Hood, just from the look to the performance, just everything, it is the quintessential cliched stereotype of Robin Hood. But it just, that is actually perfect for this story and for his interactions with the Doctor especially. Peter Capaldi continues to just own it. I'm just loving his, his orneriness and just sort of that his first instinct is kind of just to argue with people. And you know, there was something that I forgot to mention last time, but it was brought to my attention again right at the start of this. I love the new additions in the TARDIS. I love the chalkboards. I love the bookcases. It's these homey little touches that I think the, the redesigned TARDIS really needed because when they first did that latest redesign that we got introduced to in The Snowman, I was kind of like, it's a little cold, it's a little sterile, but you stick the bookshelves and the chalkboards in there and now it feels lived and it feels homey. It feels right for this doctor, absolutely. Clara works fine for me in this. She keeps doing her thing, and, and I'm kind of the same place with her that I usually am. It's like, she's fine. She gets the job done. I, I can't get invested in her. I don't know why at this point. She works better in this episode than when she's having to mine deeper, more emotional places. Not that, you know, the actress is somehow incapable of doing that, but Clara works best when she's fun, and this is an episode that is just fun fun. Especially because those episodes can actually be really tricky in Doctor Who because they tend to come off as very superfluous and like they don't matter. But because we've kind of gone back to the earlier template for how a, a series is going to go, that we've sort of got these standalone adventures with just little hints that are going to get drawn together later. In this case, the promised land is the hint. As opposed to a much clearer, we are covering a series long story arc, which we got the last few times. Now, those sorts of stories are great, and I love to those series, but it did mean that when they inserted an episode into those that was just there to be fun, it felt absolutely completely superfluous. It felt like fluff. Whereas you go back to, say, the first four or five series of Doctor Who, and it was okay for episodes to be fun because they weren't banking as much on a series-long story arc. And since we're going back to that for this go-around, that means that this fun episode just gets to be fun. I mean, there isn't really much more to say to it beyond that. This isn't a, a deep emotional drama. We didn't dig into new layers of the new Doctor or of Clara or of anybody. We didn't get much farther with the, you know, the little nuggets that we're getting as to what will be tied up at the end. But that's fine. This one's there to be fun. It's fun. Now, as I said, I tend to not care too much for the historically set episodes myself. But I mentioned the couple that I like. What about you? What is your favorite Doctor Who historical episode? It can be from the new series. Heck, it can be from the classic series. There's some good ones there. Time Warrior still stands up. Whatever your thought is on the matter, drop it down in the comments and let's talk about it. Until next time, this council is adjourned.